Glowdell back here at the hot mess and uh, I got that tool I was telling you guys about tub drain extractor I hope this works it looks like a pretty high quality tool all it says is place extractor in drain as shown tap extractor lightly with hammer and with a half inch ratchet drive an extension or wrench turn extractor counterclockwise to bite into and remove the drain so we're about to try this out Shoo! it's cold outside i hate cold so this needs to go counterclockwise just like that so how's everybody doing with all this herpaderp <laughs> if you don't know what herpaderp is go to my last video or video before you'll figure it out well i was pretty skeptical but it worked and there comes the tub flange now i did have to beat on it not hard but i made sure that the teeth on that bit were seated very well and i did have to use my little breaker bar right there my half inch to get it going but once it cracked the tool worked and i'm oh so happy herp derp i think i'm gonna make some shirts that say herp derp <laughs> herp derp 2020 be like the new scooby-doo but herp derp a doo <laughs> Ain't that lovely. The tub just slides out like it's on rails or it's on something. Maybe it's on crack. I don't know. herp -a derp -a. Sing the herp -a derp song. herp -a derp -a. All day long. Don't kiss ugly girls or you get herp -a derpies. <laughs> Oh my god. Now we got the herpa derps, herpa do's, herpa don'ts. What a mess. So that's basically the only thing that was underneath that tub supporting it. So if y'all have never taken a faucet hand off of a faucet before, you just slide you a knife or a razor blade behind it and you got these caps. And it reveals these little screws. And I'm just using my knife right now. Cause I don't know where my razor blade went, but there you go. And you just take your Phillips head, take them out, and that's about it for that. So here I am back in the the bathroom trying to make a game plan. The owner lady would like to have a shower put in here, and I've kind of run into an issue. As you can see, how the tub drain sits on top of the floor. If I was wanting to go with a residential style tub or a shower basin, that would mean I would have to take the drain out, reroute the drain, and come up through the floor, which I'm not really excited about doing that. So I also told her you can buy a mobile home tub shower system that would go in here. It would be 27 inches wide by 54 inches long. It would be up high enough to where it would sit over top the drain just like the old tub and come with a surround and some other stuff but it's like seven hundred dollars and i'm like really how much do you want to polish this turd you know um we can put the old tub back in and i can repaint it with that appliance epoxy like i did in my sink just change the color or she can get a new tub with a couple hundred bucks and then tear all the luon out or wherever the hell this stuff is and replace it and I, as i got to pulling on it i discovered <laughs> there's a there's some uh wood planking back here surely that wasn't what was put back here when it was built because that's not waterproof but as you can see it's about ready to rip out so so i'm going to take this down and finished getting all that stuff pulled off that wall because and uh she said she just had a hard time getting out of the tub so i was like well your walls are one by four or one by three or one by something like this and it's not very good and 
structurally i think it sucks so i told her what i'll probably do i'll get some two by fours some stud grade two by fours maybe some tree ones and rebuild this wall rebuild this wall here and back here that way it's nice and strong <laughs> so y'all know how i like to build walls that way you know i can put some handicap bars in her shower area that way it's easier for her to get in and out and it would just be all around mo better the destruction has begun so you can see this is the wall for the tub and all the faucet and everything how flimsy and weak it is you know it's made out of this one by probably not even a one by more like a three quarter inch by something so i'm going to tear all this out rebuild this wall here and i'm going to put her in a new faucet because for some reason this valve here is it didn't work from what she was saying this is the big shower wall as you can see you know it's suffered some water damage the insulation in here it looks like it might be okay the one by the structure of the wall still seems pretty good but i'm going to beef it up with some more two by fours rebuild this and the game plan is they really want a shower so instead of using this and instead of cutting the drain out and redoing all that plumbing i'm gonna build a platform about this high that way the new tub basin still sits on top of this but there's gonna be like a little step you just step up in here and stand in the shower so that'd be pretty cool and then they can do something with the whole shower surround thing guess what i found well a couple things one the bottom one by of the wall is basically rotted out secondly see that right there this is the remnants of a small hornet's nest which is kind of cool at least i'm finding it and taking care of it now so yeah this whole bathroom floor in the bottom section of the wall is going to be taken care of but it looks like it's not too rotted out. So what I could probably do is get some treated two by four. <clears throat> As you can see right here, you can see outside is even that, that whole front header beam, I guess you'd call it, that goes lengthways here is rotten too so that had to be cut out but like what i was saying deep now <laughs> i was gonna say i could probably cut some of the bad out and just replace two by four on the floor mm, i don't know now so but yeah so you can see the damage good stuff there's some more of that nest so i think i'm gonna get my shop back clean a lot of this mess up and regroup well i've got a hole in the floor now so i've begun tearing out this rotten floor so i can kind of see what i'm looking at underneath and it's you know typical trailer stuff this right here is the drain the main drain for the tub and everything and uh i'm kind of perplexed at how they put the floor underneath this gas water heater you can see <laughs> yeah i just did that i don't know what is going on underneath here it's almost like they just laid stuff on top of stuff and if it would hold a water heater that's fine they put it there really that whole floor for that water heater needs to be replaced Cause it's crap i mean it is literally literally crap but i'm not a gas guy maybe i can work around it i don't know maybe i can make something work that's i guess that's a gas line yeah that goes down on the ground oh goodness people man some people why would you do that 
anyways this is where i'm at i'm on right up to the hardware store I'm going to get some two by fours and uh i can't find any advantech today so i think i'm just going to use some three quarter inch ply that would be plenty for this trailer um is it necessarily the right stuff to use not really but you know it is what it is what i will do though is before i put this floor down I'm clean all these surfaces off get all these bolts out or nails or whatever to make it nice and flat and then i've got some of that bubble foil i'm gonna lay down the bubble foil underneath here first and then put this, the uh three corner inch plow on top of it that way to give some type of moisture barrier to the plywood and stuff so fun fun <laughs> 